Hello, my name's Alan. I'm part of the coastal safety team down here at Bembridge Lifeboat. In a couple of weeks' time, the St Helens Fort Walk is coming up and we'd like to tell you about it and give you some advice. The St Helens Fort Walk is happening. No one organises it, no one takes responsibility for it. You go at your own risk. The date that it looks like it's going to be, and we've seen in social media, is Monday the 13th of August. On that date, the low water is just before 7 o'clock in the evening. With all these things, safety is important, your own safety. So, if the weather is at all bad, in other words, visibility is bad or it's windy, then don't try going. There are two routes to get out to the fort, either from Old Church at St Helens or from Silver Sands at Bembridge. If you go from Old Church, then the water is liable to be less deep. It's quite a strenuous walk and will take you about 30 minutes to actually walk out there and 30 minutes to walk back. In some areas you'll be walking on shingle, in some areas you'll be walking on sand, and in some areas you'll be walking on rock. However, what you will be doing is walking through water, and sometimes the water can come up to your chest. Please take care. It is also a good idea to have something on your feet which will protect you from the stones. Flip-flops are really not the best thing to wear. When you're walking out to the fort, you'll find you'll be going very close to Bembridge Channel. Now the channel may have holes in it that have been taken out by the sand and gravel extractor. So please don't go near that. Also, when you get out to the fort, you will find that there are rocks. These rocks can be slippery. It's also said that it's good luck when you get to the fort to actually walk round it on the ledge. If you do, then walk round in an anti-clockwise direction, which gives you the best luck, so we understand, and also make sure that you keep moving. There'll be a lot of people that will be out there walking around and out to the fort. So please look after your dogs, look after your children. With children, we would recommend that they wear buoyancy aids, and if you've got a small dog, in certain places you might be even carrying them. The important thing is, if you do find you're having problems, if you are in trouble, then what you do is, using a mobile phone or a radio, call 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Above all, respect the water and you're going to have a good day. Thank you.